that carbon fiber front fender, a little chopped short fender, that's not gonna make it. Start from the front, I guess. <laughs> hey, yo! These specific wheels? Nah. No, no. with, with those specific brakes? No. no. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Jerry, what is this, your first time filming here with us? If this is your first time on set, I didn't know we had a red, your phone no, on silent. There's no red light. Like I said, it, it's gonna come down to price. Yes. The levels is good. The levels is good. Sure. <laughs> Welcome to the video, guys. I've had this guy here next to me in a few weeks. Hello, sir. Hello. Old school Jerry's back in the building. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Today we're gonna talk about the Buell Super Cruiser. Um, if you guys saw my previous video that I did on that bike on what was it two weeks ago or so, um, we we're talking about obviously all the everything that the bike has to offer and a few details on that and what we know so far. Um, this video, I kind of want to talk about what we think might not make it on the actual bike if and when that bike does come out for sale on the market, supposedly for 2025. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, I'm a huge fan of the bike. Uh, are you? Yes. Super yes. fan. Yeah. Um, I think the bike looks great. It looks awesome. I think is what the culture needs right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think what they're doing is super, super, super cool. Um, and the bike just... It looks immaculate. It looks amazing, but the bike is not gonna look like that. Like, and I'm, <laughs> it's not gonna look like that. No. Right? It's not gonna come out looking like we that. We would hope it would, but we would hope it so. So we're gonna be talking about the things that we think that we think probably won't be on the bike. Um, how do you want to start? You want to start from the front? You want to start from the back? Oh. Hey yo. Start from the front, I guess. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll start from from the front so area. So let's look at this picture right here real quick. Um, all right, uh, the front because I know yesterday you were telling me that you didn't like the. It's not that I didn't like it. I just thought it should be a different color. The radiator. The radiator. The shroud. Yeah, it I, should I, be black. I think I don't know. Yes, but then I think like this just gives it like a little special touch. Yeah, I think it'll. The radiator is gonna stay. That that's not gonna go. Um, I think. No, the radiator is gonna stay. Yeah. But I think the color might go. Yeah. Um, let's start with the fairing first. That's obviously a Memphis Shades fairing in the front. Mm -hmm. Um, that's not gonna make it to the market. Probably do like a quarter fairing. Yeah, the, they they might just do their own or, or it might come without any fairing and then. That's possible. It's like too. well, you know, if you guys want a fairing, well, Memphis Shades, you know, makes one for this. The LED Daymaker in the front. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll put some yeah, Daymaker, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, that uh, that carbon fiber front fender, a little chopped short fender, that's not gonna make it. I was gonna say a longer, it'd be a little longer. It'll probably be longer. And it'll it'll probably be, it won't be carbon fiber. It won't be carbon fiber. No. Yeah. It'll probably be plastic, actually. Yeah. Be like a sport bike fender. Yeah. The yeah. wheels. What do you think about the wheels? You think the wheels are gonna make it? Maybe, maybe some version of that, but not as expensive. You think? I, I don't know. I don't think these wheels are going to make it on it. I think black wheels. Yeah, black wheels for sure, but I'm saying like these specific wheels. No, no. With, with those specific brakes. No. no. I mean, mo most of the parts on this bike are Buell parts. Yes. But, I mean, I don't think those brakes are going to make it on there. Yeah, the brake. If, so? if it's a Buell brake, it's cheaper if, for if them. It, if it's a Buell brake, yes. Yes. It's better for them to give it than, than outsource. So you think the these brakes will make it on there? Yeah, yeah. Those big rotors? Yeah. That's the thing or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Um the exhaust. The exhaust no, is not gonna make no. it on there. <laughs> not even close. That, that it has some kind of trash can looking thing that, yeah. that you're gonna rip off the instant you get it. <clears throat> now for just, EPA. Exactly. So that that's gonna be my next thing. There's a lot of the reason why we think that a lot of these parts are not gonna make it is because the bike needs to be to EPA standards and in California. EPA emissions. Yeah, California. In California, forget about it. I mean, maybe other states, but California might have less stuff. Um, but that exhaust is not going to be on there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we might be looking at a really dinky looking exhaust. Yeah, like right? a garbage can looking. Thing. Yeah, um, the mono shock. That's gonna pretty yeah. sure that's gonna stay on there. The maybe not as adjustable. 
Might be just like less adjustment in the mono shock. Like, no, it might be like it's, yeah. it's an adjustable mono shock. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna have that exact height. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's gonna be a you know mono shock gives you more height, so I doubt it. The seat, obviously, I don't think so. No. Probably their own version of. Yeah. What is that on there? A saddleman. It looks like a saddleman. Yeah. From yeah. Looks like, it so it'll like be a like a, their own two up version. Yeah. Um, the rear fender. Um, what do you think? I mean, the rear fender, I think, will make I it. I think so. Yeah. If it's not carbon fiber. Not the... No, it's not. Not the turn signal. Because if you look at the turn signals, they're super tiny. No, no. And they, that, they're going to have to be at least like that for DOT. Yeah. That, that, at least like the size of the Harley ones. Yeah, that's not going to make it on there. Um, swing arm, yeah, because mm, that, that's... That's the that's Buell, Buell, Buell swing arm, which attaches to the engine. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that, that'll that make it on there. Chain conversion, yeah, that, that's how it's going to come. Yeah. Um, that same tank, yes. Yeah. Um, what else? I mean, I don't, I don't think nothing else. The controls are going to be more user, like not, not so sparse. What they're do you gonna, mean? Like they're probably like minimal controls just to get. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to have to have all everything like turn signal, blinker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, all that stuff. <clears throat> but that, that might, that's going to be my next thing. Like they're, they're probably going to, everything's probably going to be all plastic stuff. You know, which which that's I, probably on their sport bikes. Where we yeah, where we, which I don't like. Where, which is like one of the things that like, for example, the Indian bikes or the sports the rest, yeah. Like they they have all these like plastic components. Like I just don't like that. I, I like the hard components that you know that the Harley, aluminum, yeah. the aluminum stuff that Harley uses, man. Like just it feels good to the touch. It feels premium, you know. Yeah. Plastic stuff is just like mm, yeah. Not, yeah not, like the Nightster and the uh, sports the rest too. Also the plastic now. Yeah. And like you said, the Indians now. Not not for a cruiser. So, um, I mean, for the most part, everything else, what do you think about that dash? I don't think that's going to make it. You don't think so? Maybe a smaller, like. I think, I think that, I mean, I don't, I don't know if maybe that specific one, but it's I'm pretty TFT. sure. It's a TFT. Oh, the TFT you're talking it's about. A TFT, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, I hope makes it. Yeah. Hopefully. I thought you were talking about the console. <clears throat> no, no, no. And then you got those, what, I mean, I don't know how tall they are. They look like they might be like eight to 10 inch risers. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to go on there. No, and now I mean, if I any, think there's a law. Yeah, well, like think it's six inch or four inch. I think or something I think like that. six inches like the highest you can you can sell. I think there's a yeah because there's a height law thing, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. in California. There's definitely yeah. So I mean, if anything, we might see some four inch or six inch risers yes. out there. Yes. Um, Hopefully, likely the highest four. ones you could probably buy other ones as accessories. Yeah, I mean, most likely four. Then they'll probably offer like a six inch or and yeah, then or you can buy inch, from yeah. them. Yeah, ten inch or nine inch, whatever it is. Um. I don't know, man. Like, I, I think th those are some of the stuff that I think might make it or might not make Hopefully it. Hopefully, it makes as much as they can. <laughs> but like you said, there's, you know, it's EPA and there's a lot of stuff that won't make it. What, what do you think? I mean, I, I said in my last video, but I, I think that this is the bike that Harley should have made. Yes. You know, like Harley, Harley had to make this bike, man. Actually... More so, Harley didn't make it, but I would have thought Indian would have took like a, a more, like their FTR engine and souped it up more beyond 120 horsepower. Yeah. Like done 150 or 100 or 180 horsepower. The Rev Max is at 150, but Harley supposedly, when I bought my Pan America, had a, a, a cam kit that would push it to 180. Really? Yes. I was, was going to get the stage two kit before my engine blew up. But. Because you, th this, this could have easily been a Harley. I mean, Har Harley has the new frame. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not a frame. It's uh, it's a stress member. It's a stress. Yeah, it's a stress. The engine, yeah. Of course, this engine looks better because the other, the, yeah. the left side of the fucking Rev Max engine is ugly as shit. Yeah, but yeah, Harley, Harley could have made this, man. They could have, especially with that. Maybe they still are. They could be Buell to the punch. Uh, mm. We don't know. We'll find uh, out in July, maybe. We'll see what's going on. I don't know. For the 2024. You think it? Uh, how about that um, that frame? I hope the frame makes it. I kind of like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like FXR frame. Yeah. It's awesome. It, it looks really cool. It looks it looks yeah, throwback. It looks retro, but it looks future, mm -hmm. modern, and like a super fun bike. It looks like it's gonna, you know. And I've I've heard I mean, it on videos, and it sounds amazing. But think about it, like we were all, I was, I don't remember if you were, but when the FTR was first announced years ago, and it came out with the same thing with the carbon and all the stuff done. I like the FTR. The, the original FTR I'm talking yeah. about, but then when it came out in person, it wasn't the same. No. 
But I mean, it's Indian still, did did a great job with that because yes, yeah. that, that yard does look cool as hell. Yeah, they did a better yeah. job now this past year, I think, by revamping yeah. it. But when it for the first concept bike when it first came out it was badass, and oh, yeah. the first FTR that came out did not look like that. Well, I mean, so Harley has a, the the Sportster S, mm -hmm. and that that bike looks amazing. Yeah, it looks great. But I think where they messed up on it was putting four controls on it. And that big fat tire in the front. The big fat tire and and I mean it's it's a beautiful bike. I love it. I think it looks amazing. I like I, it's super cool. But this should have been what they should have made with that. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and they would have been selling a lot of those, a lot. Absolutely. Won't be doing twenty five thousand though either probably. So that's another thing though. So I mean, what 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 are we thinking of when it comes to pricing? Well, that bike's supposed to be twenty five grand. Yeah. Supposed to be. That's what they say. Oh, they, they, they didn't. They, they're they're saying tw in the twenties. I'm thinking probably like twenty two to twenty five. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. With options, yeah. Yeah. Twenty two to twenty five. I, I mean, it's, it. it's still pretty. It's still pretty pricey. It's pricey, though, so. but I would probably buy it. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what is going to come with exactly. the work. Exactly. Because the, that, fi the finished product. Exactly. So if it doesn't come with a lot of the stuff, should it be up around 25? Absolutely no. Not. No. Absolutely not. No. If it comes like this, that's worth 25 to me. Yes. You know, 23 around there. Without a lot of that stuff on it. Even if they sold you. How, 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 about, how about if they come out with a great deal and say, you know what? It's not going to have some of the parts on it. We'll give but, it for like 18. But this bike is going to be at 18, 19. What they should do is come out with the bike like 18, 19, all EPA compliant, and then say, listen, for an extra $3,000, we'll give you the race only package for closed course competition and tell you all the other shit that's supposed to be on there. Yeah, but then you're going to a race package is like, for what, like a track bike, you mean? No, it's supposed to be. Oh, like, like okay, okay. Like, like sell me the, 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 the like a special model. Yeah, no, just sell you the parts. Separately, so you don't they don't get in trouble. So like Harley, yeah, but sell you a package like it's got that exhaust, it's got that seat, it's got a special version of it. Yeah, yeah, like a S, like a special version. Well, no, just like package that doesn't come with the bike. Like you have to. Oh, just it. a package. You're, yeah, um, because you I'm, can't. I'm buy, thinking you're saying you can buy the bike. Like no, a no, no, because it won't pass the EPA like that. Gotcha, gotcha. So if you say because like the Screaming Eagle stuff says race only, competition only. Yeah. Do the same thing. Yeah. Sell us that pipe, sell us that stuff, so when we can slap it on, we know exactly we get 20 more horsepower. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. I, I, that, that could be something. <clears throat> and that's how you get past the EPA, because it's going to come with a trash can, fucking the muffler's probably going to be like this fucking big. Yeah. Wow, Jerry, what is this, your first time filming here with us? Uh, I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> if this is your first time on set, I didn't know we had put a red, your phone on no, silent. There's no red light. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Yeah. I, I think it's, gonna, it's, it's great competition. It's gonna make Harley and Indian trying to probably come up with some new ideas. Yes, competition and, you know, is good. Competition is always good, man. Like yeah. it's good. when you have one leading brand, you, you you're not gonna get the best out of them. As opposed yeah. to if that brand had competition two or three other places, and it's like, all right, mm -hmm. well, now we need to compete to give our you know our customers the best, you know, the latest and the newest and That's everything. I think, yeah. You know, I agree. Would would this be uh? Because I mean, right now you uh, you're looking later into buying another bike. Let us just say if 2025 rolled around and you and you only had your streak lied, would this be a bike you would buy? I would consider. Consider. Yeah. I mean, I'd you, have to test drive it. You you yeah, but you you like more of you like bikes that uh you can use more for like daily commuters and yes, do yeah. stuff and carry stuff True. on it. Yeah. So you're like more like uh, like a heritage or something or. I mean, I've had pretty much everything. But, I'm just saying, but, but you're... Yeah, at this point in my life, I kind of like to have wind protection and some saddlebags. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, by 2020, I mean, right now, I'm only going to have one bike. Hopefully. <laughs> only, only the Glide right now, because, I mean, the FXR sold already within record time, like 12 hours. Yeah, it was You crazy. know, the Lowrider S now is for sale, so we're going to see how fast that sells. Um, so, I mean, I if I still only have one bike by then, like... 
if, if this bike is priced at a really good price, I would love to probably get my hands on it. And the performance is there. And the performance is there, you know. Because right now it's there, but it's not EPA compliant. So yeah. If they if they detune it or lose like thirty horsepower, then Harley will probably come up with something that's got hundred and fifty horsepower. <clears throat> yeah, I mean Harley has a lot of stuff up their sleeve right now. They're coming yeah. out with stuff here and there, and I mean I can't wait till the end of the year to see what else they're gonna be coming out with. We'll see some stuff you know? in July. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If we want to cover anything else. Pretty much covers everything, right? Uh, that's pretty much. Yeah. Just gotta wait and see. Wait and see. Hopefully, there's enough interest that they're gonna build it. Yeah, because they, they are taking fifty dollars deposits from people. But if they don't get that many, then <laughs> you know. And, and listen, I, me personally, I know of maybe like fifteen to twenty people that send me messages and they're like, "Yo, what do you think about this bike?" I'm like, "Oh, it's awesome," and they're like, "Yeah, I, I just put in my deposit. Like, I yeah. want one, you know." Yeah. But I mean, but. Like I said, it, it's going to come down to price. Yes, absolutely. You know? And what it looks like. And what it looks like. Yeah, you know, you know? they put a garbage can muffler on it, you might be like, uh, Yeah, but you know, those are things that are easy. If you could change it out, Harley stuff you could change out easily, somebody will come up with it. But is all these companies going to come up with a pipe for that engine? Yeah, you're right about that. It's not a Harley or an India. They're not going to, the big companies are going to be like, well, they're going to make, what, 100 of them? We're going to make fucking 100 pipes? Yeah, you're it's right not right worth it. That. Yeah. That's you know? that, that's the thing when you're kind of go outside of that spectrum. Yes. You know? And then also people are going to look at where are you going to buy that bike? Like yeah. where's their Buell dealer? That, so that that's one of the things that, that I spoke about in the first video. I was like, all right, well, <coughs> you, gonna you can get it, it, but where where's where's this bike going to get serviced at? Because am I going to go to a Buell dealer? I don't have, there's no Buell dealers around here. No Buell. 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 I said Bueller. <laughs> you said Bueller. 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 <laughs> Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> uh, yeah, like so. I mean, I could take it a torque. I'm pretty sure they'll yeah. know how to work on it or something. But, but somebody's got to get used to working on that kind of end, that engine. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a Rotex it's, engine. It's, it's a lot, man. It's like all right, brand new bike, brand new engine, mm -hmm. brand new everything. It's like it's gonna uh, have some hiccups too. Uh, everything new does. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying there's gonna be some obstacles that they have to get over. Yeah. But if they're confident that they can get it out there and get it out there at the right price and everything, then yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Appreciate but service it. is going to be an issue. Dealer support is going to be an issue. Yeah. Aftermarket support. Yeah, I mean, let's, I mean, let's hope it out. You know, I mean, it, it's we're two years out from there, or a year and a half, yeah, and and, and, half. and within that time, if maybe they were able to work something out with a few companies, an exhaust company or this or that, who knows? Yeah, I mean, if they get a company, they might be ready. Make them all those pipes. They, they, they might be ready for the I mean, time. What pipe does it look drops? like it's on there now anyway? It's just some kind of custom looking pipe? Uh, it's like a custom pipe. Or it's not like a Sawicki or anything. These pictures, I zoom in and it's like blurry. It's blurry. Yeah. yeah. Can't really see shit. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about the Buell? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you excited for the new bikes coming out? Um, are you excited for new Harley stuff coming out, new India stuff coming out? Drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Let us know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, give this video right now a big thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And uh, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. 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 Peace.